Japan, a land of ancient traditions and cutting-edge technology, boasts a society that values harmony, respect, and order. While the Japanese are known for their politeness and consideration, there are several unspoken rules that govern daily life and interactions. These cultural nuances, deeply rooted in history, play a significant role in shaping social behavior. Hello viewers, and welcome to a captivating exploration of the unspoken rules of Japan. Today, we're delving into the intricacies that define Japanese culture. From the serene temples to the bustling city streets, Japan has a rich tapestry of traditions that go beyond what meets the eye. So, grab your virtual passport as we embark on this cultural journey together. Rule number one, avoid walking while eating and drinking. In many Western societies, the act of grabbing a quick bite while strolling down the street is an unremarkable, even expected, behavior. However, in Japan, this seemingly innocuous act is viewed through a different cultural lens. The Japanese place a premium on cleanliness and orderliness, and eating while walking is generally considered impolite. Instead, public spaces are equipped with designated areas for consuming food, emphasizing the cultural value of maintaining a clean and harmonious environment. This practice not only aligns with hygiene concerns, but also underscores the importance of being fully present and mindful during mealtime. Rule number two, dress on the conservative side. Clothing choices in Japan extend beyond mere fashion preferences. They serve as a silent yet powerful form of communication. The Japanese tend to dress conservatively, especially in formal or professional settings, emphasizing modesty and conformity. Flashy or overly casual attire may be perceived as inappropriate, reflecting a broader societal commitment to presenting oneself in a manner that contributes to the overall harmony. Navigating this unspoken rule requires an understanding of the cultural significance attached to clothing choices and a willingness to conform to local norms. Rule number three, keep train chatter to a minimum. Efficient and punctual, Japan's public transportation system, particularly its trains, is a testament to the country's commitment to order and precision. Commuters value the silence of train journeys, using the time to relax, read, or reflect quietly. Engaging in loud conversations is generally discouraged, highlighting the Japanese reverence for personal space and the desire to create tranquil shared environments. Adhering to this unspoken rule fosters a sense of communal respect and ensures that public spaces are conducive to relaxation and reflection. Rule number four, don't consider elevators as your meeting rooms. Elevators, those ubiquitous vertical transports, serve a specific purpose in Japan, moving people efficiently between floors. However, engaging in extended conversations within elevators is discouraged as it disrupts the tranquility valued in shared spaces. Passengers typically maintain a quiet demeanor, with even phone conversations kept to a minimum. This unspoken rule reflects the Japanese commitment to maintaining order and respect in public spaces, encouraging individuals to save discussions for more appropriate settings. Rule number five, don't stand in the middle of escalators. Escalators, designed for the swift transition between floors, come with their own set of unspoken rules in Japan. Standing in the middle is considered poor etiquette as it disrupts the efficient flow of foot traffic. Japanese custom dictates that individuals stand on one side, typically the left, leaving the other side free for those who wish to walk or pass by quickly. This practice is emblematic of the Japanese commitment to order and consideration for others, ensuring that shared spaces function seamlessly. Rule number six, you don't need to open or close the doors of a taxi. In the intricate dance of cultural nuances that define Japan, even the seemingly mundane act of entering and exiting a taxi is governed by unspoken rules. One such quirk stands out, the expectation that passengers need not concern themselves with opening or closing the doors of a taxi. While this may seem counterintuitive in some cultures where self-sufficiency is encouraged, understanding the reasoning behind this practice provides valuable insights into the Japanese commitment to service, courtesy, and efficiency. In many Western countries, Passengers are accustomed to taking charge of their own ingress and egress when it comes to taxes. However, in Japan, the experience is quite the opposite. As our journey through the unspoken rules of Japan comes to an end, I hope you gained a deeper appreciation for the beauty and complexity of Japanese culture.
If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining us on this cultural adventure. Until next time, Sayonara.